This is Porta Banus, just 20 miles down the coast from Estepona, but it is a different world. It was built in 1970 as a luxury marina and shopping centre, but since then it's become a super popular tourist attraction, which about 5 million people visit a year. It also happens to be a very popular hangout with the rich and famous. You can tell by the cars rolling around as well. I mean, we've been here about 10 minutes and we've already seen Porsches, Ferraris, rollers. In short, if the 4 Series can get noticed here, it's gonna get noticed anywhere. So there are a few people about now, but is anyone looking? Well, not really, not at the moment. So we'll have to give it a few more minutes, see if anyone gets a bit more interested. Oh, come on, people. It's a brand new car, come on, look at me. Look at my horrible shirt, if nothing else. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit disappointed by this. It's not getting nearly as much attention as I thought it would. So let's get the roof going, see if the whole transformer thing gets their attention. It's quite a complicated three-piece metal hood, but it can raise or lower in about 20 seconds and you can operate it at speeds of up to about eight miles an hour. Ah, see, that's getting their attention. Yeah, there's definitely one or two admiring glances now, so it's taken a little while, but I think that's the pose test passed. Of course, it's no good looking good from the outside if the effect's ruined as soon as people look inside the car. And let's face it, when you roost down, the interior of the car is on display as well. But luckily, the BM's cabin is as plush as you like. The materials are just lovely, and importantly, they feel as good as they look. So I think it's pretty impressive that the 4 Series feels like it fits in in a place like this. But the fact remains that if you're thinking of buying one of these things, then you're not going to be driving it around Porta Banus. You're going to be driving it in the UK, where the weather's horrible and the roads are even worse. So the real question is, can the 4 Series cope with the daily grind? Is it quiet enough, comfortable enough and practical enough to live with every day? Well now, we're going to head back to Blighty to put that to the test. And according to the sat-nav, it looks like we've got about 2,400 kilometers to find out what's what. Mm -hmm. 